Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, we will talk about generalized uh, linear regression model, and we will go through a step-by-step uh, -step, uh, tutorial in which we, we will see how we can perform uh, generalized linear uh, linear model using R. Right. So first of all, uh, as you can, you have seen in my previous tutorial, I first set the working li library uh, to the folder where actually the file is saved because uh, it's easier for me otherwise you can also directly write down the whole uh, you can say the link when you are calling the uh, the file but I first set the working library then there are few of the libraries which will be uh, used during this uh, uh, this analysis and uh, which includes a library that dplyr and then library uh, tidyr these are uh, both of them are interrelated so if you don't have installed them just go on the install packages and install them they are available and the next uh, which is uh, the for the regression linear uh, generalized linear model that is lm test that is called and the last one is uh, actually the uh, sj plot which I will use to uh, generate the plot of the output uh, we've got uh, we will get using LM test so first of all uh, we have to call the file right so uh, I have uh, a hospital data and that is stored in the CSV file so read.csv and then the name of the file that is patient underscore data dot csv which is actually saved in e channel r studio right which i've already set in the beginning so yeah so now what's next is uh, i'm just selecting all the commands i've written and i've just run it so you can see that all the commands are run hospital uh, data is saved in this hospital variable and here you can see in this variable first column represents the patient ID the next one is for the follow-up of the patient then age of the patient gender of the patient and whether the disease has occurred again reoccurred or not and then the treatment right so using these information I am just uh, uh, starting to perform the analysis so yes so here you can see that uh, if you if you want to check the number of rows of the hospital it's a simple command and row and you can see the total number of uh, uh, the total number of the rows in this file are 154 if we just sort it yeah now you can see that all of them are total number of rows are 154 right so the next thing is um, what I will do is uh, I will check that how many of the variables contain uh, any inform any information right so uh, let's see what we have got here that if I summarize underscore all and then write the wait I just write it here sum and then is dot n a right and then dot x yes so if, 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 if I just run it you, you can see that total number of n is in uh, age is 0 follow-up is 1 disease recurrence 3 and treatment 0 so so there are a couple of uh, any information in some of the variables and uh, if I check uh, using L apply I can check that uh, all the unique values I have for each variable so if I just click here you can see that oh sorry again yeah so you can see treatment is no yes disease recurrence is no yes na gender age and follow-up right there is one na in the follow-up as well as you can see here right so let's create the new data set this is actually for uh, before moving forward because uh, if we can store all the information we can play around with that information but if you want to use the same variable you can use it 
but I've just made another variable that is hospital2 so that I can have the original information stored in one variable and in the other variable I'm I will I'm just performing the analysis so in hospital2 I will be using hospital2 for the analysis right so as you can see that uh, in hospital2 uh, there is same sort of information is available here you can if you just click that and you can see that all the information is here stored in hospital 2 as well right so these are the few steps you can uh, you can uh, exclude a uh, few of the steps here as well like here you can see that uh, this is the same file now I'm using treatment as an explanatory variable uh, sorry the response variable and I'm using the rest of these four as the explanatory variables right so what I need to do is to uh, first uh, for performing the LM test first I have to set the X response variable which which can be used as uh, numeric so uh, now currently it is yes or no so I'll convert that using the DPLYR package uh, into 1 and 0 so let me show you here how I can do that so first I write hospital 2 and this percentage greater than percentage sign uh, so wait yes and then the percentage sign and then mutate actually mutate is the mutate is the command to convert uh, any information or substitute any information available in the in the column so uh, using the mutate command I am replacing the treatment variable let me make it more visible treatment and uh, uh, replace treatment in from yes to one and uh, from treatment no to zero right so for example here this treatment equal equals to yes convert it into one and then uh, I just run it and yeah and then I can uh, copy paste it again so that I should save time uh, and use no equals to zero right so if I just run it and yeah now you can see here that I have converted uh, yes to one and zero and you can see it in the output uh, in the in the in this in this file as well that here you can see that now treatment is one and uh, uh, yes is one and and treatment no is zero so now let's uh, start uh, to perform uh, the analysis first of all I am saving all the information because uh, GLM test do not uh, take uh, n is as in in, uh, in its in its formula so it gives an error so first of all I am just omitting uh, all the n is available in uh, present in these variables so for that I'm writing data dot clean and then dot omit subset hospital select a treatment all the variables for example one is treatment and uh, others are if I just check here treatment disease recurrence gender age and follow-up right so I just write all of them here uh, gen, what uh, treatment and then follow-up age uh, gender and the last one is uh, uh, let me check again disease recurrence right so I just write this disease recurrence again here disease underscore recurrence right so now I just say okay now it's done just right right so now all the variables without any information are saved into data dot clean right so now from here uh, you can see all the variables uh, so if I just write head this is another way of viewing the data if you write head you can see the first five 
uh, or six uh, first five six columns uh, rows of the data so here you can see that gender treatment follow-up age gender disease recurrence right okay so now the GLM test using this data set first uh, first of all uh, we just have to make one variable if I write GLM out or GLM one any any variable I just uh, GLM okay GLM and then G L M L M okay again I just changed once more time because it may confuse me that there are two so GLMM is the uh, variable which in which I am saving the GLM results so GLM command and then as dot numeric because uh, the response variable should be in numeric using the GLM test so here it is treatment and I'm, and I'm checking against the four uh, variables th those are follow-up age gender and disease recurrence and I want to check that uh, which one are significantly associated uh, they give us very significant p-value and odd ratios against the treatment right so follow-up gender age and disease recurrence right so one uh, and and data I forgot to add the data in which data we are saving it so data equals to data dot clean and uh, and then the family that is binomial right so this is the default uh, command of the uh, GLM you can use different uh, family as well so uh, so just run it and now the results are run here I can just use the summary command to see which variables are significantly associated with the treatment and which are you can say the best model which are modeled best against the treatment response variable so here you can see that the estimated standard deviation error z score and p-value and here you can see that follow-up showed strong significant association and it's the uh, it's sort of the best modeled against the these uh, these uh, the, uh, treatment variable so uh, yeah so you can see that this is the GLM output and uh, one more thing if you want to plot it uh, as I use the library sjplot you can also do that just write here the sjplot and so just right here sj plot and tab underscore model and then the glmm so if I just run it you can see that we can get the output in a very uh, uh, user friendly tabular form here you can see that treatment then this is, these are the odd ratios y intercept values and then the follow up that is very significant and that 0 0.001 so th this is how you perform GLM analysis I hope this is helpful and uh, in the next tutorial we will probably we will go through the selection model that how you can select the best model against treatment using these multiple variables uh, so this is just one for how to perform the GLM thank you very much bye bye